Hello, welcome to the Power BI Dashboard Design course that I'm giving in cooperation with the Get Responsive. Um, very nice of you to subscribe and I hope I can share a lot of uh, valuable insights with you. So in the end, your, your, your dashboard um, will be lots better, look better and uh, make users uh, more comfortable with using it and therefore using it even more than they might otherwise do. I am Lanneke Opzeeg, owner of Stat Stories, and um, with my company I try to make data understandable for people without math knowledge, or a wiskunde knobbel, as we would say in Dutch. Um, my background is uh, human movement sciences, and I studied organizational psychology. I have a PhD in medical sciences, all very far away from um, dashboard design probably. But um, over the years, I realized, well, data was very important for me. Statistics are very important to me, also during my PhD, of course. And uh, I worked at different companies, and I saw so many of them struggle with data, using them in the best way. So at some point, I decided, let's uh, start my own company, work with data for companies. But then uh, I realized they didn't understand the graphs I was making, like a box plot. I had to explain a box plot like five times to the same client and I was like, okay, I need something different to communicate my data in a better way. Well, realizing that I started to focus on data visualizations. How can you communicate your message as clear as possible so that everyone understands, not only people who are trained in looking at graphs. Um, I got my inspiration actually on Ibiza and from Remco Klaassen, um, some management guru in the Netherlands. And um, yeah, I wrote an entire article about it on LinkedIn. So if you want to know more, go there and read it. But that's not very important for this course, I think. Uh, I work for a variety of clients uh, from quite big companies to small uh, SMEs. And um, yeah, I enjoy every one of them. And I think making dashboards um, is something that really can bring a big difference for a company. It makes their work so much easier. So, yeah, I really love doing that. And uh, especially the uh, this end phase of actually designing the dashboard is something that I focus on a lot. Well, I work a lot with Excel, SPSS, of course, Power BI, which we will focus on during this course, PowerPoint, InDesign, uh, name it. Uh, We'll work with it. Well, before we get into the course, let's uh, tell you a bit more about the skills you need to design a good dashboard. Well, um, het schaap met vijf poten, the sheep with five legs, um, something that's very uncommon, let's say, because you need to have quite some skills. Um, Every one of these skills, you don't need to be an expert, but you need to have some information from it. So you have to have some design skills, graphical design, um, some feeling for color, for uh, a nice layout. Of course, you need to have some, some uh, knowledge about data, some business intelligence knowledge, um, what data is actually useful, is it already cleaned up, is it um, yeah, usable for your dashboard. Then, and maybe that's my scientific background, I think statistics are quite important. You have to realize when you can use an average or a median, um, the importance of a distribution, um, and to show that in a graph as well, um, I think that's really important. A communicator, yeah, that sounds a bit weird maybe in this sense, but we are actually communicating data. So, um, and to do that, we also have to be able to communicate in person with people. You have to be able to have the conversations with your client to get to know them, to really find out what they need to uh, perform better at their jobs. So that's also a thing we will focus on in uh, the first online session, making a, a dashboard story canvas uh, in which you really try to get to know our audience as good as possible. Then the fifth leg, the business analyst, um, you have to know how a business works. Um, you don't have to get all the way into all financial numbers, or but to have 
some uh, common knowledge about um, how the company works that you're making the dashboard for really helps in um, making the dashboard in the end. You have to understand their thought patterns, their mental model, which we will talk about as well, to be able to um, make the best dashboard possible for them. I don't think there is a perfect dashboard. It all comes down to does it meet the wishes and the characteristics of your audience. Well, how is this uh, course set up? Um, well, we have two li online live sessions um, and you will look at uh, several videos in between. Um, you'll get the link. Here it is. Um, here it is actually, not there. Um, to my website, I made a special web page for you um, with a, a password. There you can find links to all videos and assignments. And um, basically all theory is in the videos. And in the live sessions, we will actually work on your Power, uh, Power BI files and see how we can do it. And we will discuss the assignments. You will get into uh, discussions with each other about what is good, what is not, what works best for your specific audience. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to meet you. Um, some general topics here, of course, a short introduction. Uh, we'll talk about statistics, about graphs, graph type selection. Um, when you make dashboards, you really have to think about um, the, the specifics of dashboards that make some graphs more um, functional than others. Design, of course. Um, so then we talk about the layout of your dashboard. We'll talk about the use of color, how you can declutter a graph, make it super clear. And uh, we'll talk about the data ink ratio uh, by Edward Tufton, maybe you already know about him. Um, and we'll talk a bit about development. So what do you have to do to get to your dashboard? So that's what I said earlier, the dashboard story canvas. Uh, what I think you have to um, keep in, in mind when you uh, are designing a dashboard. How do you get to know your audience, etc. Okay, I'm looking forward to it and um, let's get started. Now I hope this works. Yes, we have confetti. Okay, see you next time.